Good Saturday morning, Looney Tunes fans. It is I, Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic, and Strummer has done it again. Strummer's made this request of me. Um, this time it's Hair Tonic, uh, a great cartoon, so well requested. Um, <laughs> uh, Earl Klein, um, for some reason, I thought he didn't get credit for this, but he did. Um, let me just say that thing about Mammy's Little Baby. It's, um, it's not a racist song. It was performed by Al Jolson, and he, I think, and he did it in blackface, but, um, the song itself, it's not about anything racist or, you know, inappropriate. Um, anyway, the, uh... This cartoon is if you can't find this cartoon if you're if you're looking for this cartoon and you can't find it you're high <laughs> there's no way this cartoon is super available there's like there's three different VHS tapes there's two laser discs 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 I almost said something very naughty I shouldn't be getting that naughty of a Saturday but yeah, three VHS tapes, two laser desks, disc, a DVD set, a Blu-ray set, and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh yeah, this is the uh, <laughs> Doctor Kill Patient cartoon. I love this cartoon. Um, I I I don't buy. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call BS on 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 Elmer being on the phone there for like way too long. I don't think it would have actually happened that way when he had that interaction with his up <laughs> walking upright and talking rabbit that he got at the store. <laughs> By the way, that's basically what podcasting looks like to me. That is a, vi a perfect visual for podcasting. Hi, I'm broadcasting from my home, but only people in my home are hearing it. <laughs> so... What can you say about this cartoon? Because it's not, it's not like a seminal cartoon. It's not, you know, it doesn't, um, I mean, it's, it's, I, I, you know what I would call this cartoon? I would call it serviceable, which is, which is really, you know, in terms of the day to day of a animation studio, all you can really ask of a cartoon to be able to entertain for, the whatever it is, seven minutes, you know, that has been allotted for this short subject uh, before the next newsreel or trailer or maybe even the feature itself. That's it. That's essentially what, what you know, you got to remember, kids, when, when you watch this stuff. There was no political agenda. There was no hidden meaning. There was no even continuity. It was all just, you know, they thought they thought at best these cartoons would have a life expectancy of like seven years. <laughs> oh, look at that, rabbit Titus! Oh, Elmer, son, you got the itis. What you gonna do when you got the itis, Elmer? <laughs> This cartoon, um, this cartoon is not a good cartoon to watch, and I speak from personal experience, folks. This cartoon is not a good cartoon to watch when you are at home from school, legit sick. You feel a little, a little bit guilty if you're home sick on a lie and you fooled your parents into believing that you're sick. You watch this and you feel kind of uh, uh, like I'm a phony, but if you're actually sick and you watch this cartoon, I th I dare say it made me feel uh, one day in third grade when I was home with uh, with with uh, either the flu or flu-like symptoms. Uh, this cartoon came on and it was it was a miserable experience. Granted, granted the uh, the. This, it was not a restored version of this cartoon, and I have to say, this this restoration looks pretty good. 
I have to say that, by the way. I do have to say that. I'm not just being uh, overly eloquent. Uh, I'm and bombastic and all that stuff. Hey, it's Dr. Kill Patient. I actually do have to say that, though. Because if I don't, then people will tell me that I hate every restoration that exists, and I don't. But a lot of the restorations uh, can sometimes look pretty uh, over the top. This is what they look like to me. All these odd colors in, in weird places that they shouldn't be and that weren't there originally. That's exactly what it looks like to me with those paints. And that's what you know, Kill Dr. Kill Patient looks like to me when I see the uh, the restoration bonus featurettes on the uh, Golden Collection DVDs, and they're like, "Oh, all we do is we just, you know, we restore. We don't, we don't change. We don't alter." It's like, meanwhile, they, you know, that color of green never looked like that originally, nor did they have that shade of green, that neon green or whatever it is, when they initially did it, and you know, so on and so forth. <laughs> so. So, uh, I, I, um, you know what, let me put it to you this way. Um, I think in four weeks, uh, I will be doing four or five weeks. I will be doing nighty night bugs and, uh, it'll be a nice clean print, a restoration, but it won't be a restoration. It would be restoration. It'll be from. Uh, Frizz Freeling's Looney 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 Bugs Bunny movie because it looks really sharp and crisp and the color looks great and correct and uh, I will be running alongside it um, the restoration for comparison just to let you guys see how much fabrication is going on but uh, again that's next week sorry Strummer uh, didn't mean to include all this uh, stuff in your commentary But uh, let's also say, because this is coming up to the end of the cartoon. Um, the uh, the thing at the end with uh, the drum, with with Porky, it's not Porky in this cartoon, it's Bugs. It's one of two cartoons where Bugs did that. And uh, they brought that back for uh, the Looney Tunes show. The first time in decades that Bugs has actually been <laughs> been in the uh, the uh, that's all folks drum. He doesn't say that's all folks. He says and that's the end. And he does too say that there for two episodes I think two or three episodes of uh, the of the Looney Tunes show. You see Bugs pop out and going and that's the end, which he does right here. And we'll let him do it now. And I'll see you next week. The end.